Hello, and welcome to FBLA PBL's webinar titled Start Smart, a guide to second semester recruitment and retention. This session will offer tips for recruiting members and keep, keeping them active, and will explain why it's never too late to recruit more members. FBLA PBL Membership Director Lisa Smothers, FBLA National President Taylor Sarman, and PBL National President Jake Baru will provide recruitment strategies and ideas for keeping members involved, and will focus on how members and advisors can use national programs like FBLA PBL Week to motivate both current members and recruit new ones. My name is Marisa Price, and I am the Communications and Publications Manager. I will serve as today's moderator. We encourage you to submit questions at any time during the broadcast using the GoToWebinar toolbar at the top right of your screen. We will go over questions at the end of this presentation. Just as a reminder, we will be recording this webinar, and it will be available for download on our YouTube channel tomorrow. And don't forget to update your social media status to let everyone know you're taking part in today's webinar. Before we begin, we would like to conduct a few quick polls to get an idea of who's online with us and uh, get to know a little bit of what your recruiting efforts look like. So let's take a few minutes uh, before we begin to start those polls. First, we'd like to know um, who's online with us. So the first uh, poll is um, asking if you are a student or advisor. Great. Well, it looks like 81% of you have answered, and it is a uh, split right down the middle, 50% students and 50% advisors. That's great. We're always looking for more uh, student participation in these webinars, so we're happy to have you on with us. Okay, the next question we'd like to know is, um, what division are you from, FBLA, PBL, the middle level, or the professional division? That's awesome. Well, for the first time, we have more people from PBO online with us than FBLA. So uh, I'm sure Jake, our PBO National President, will be happy to hear that. And welcome uh, to all of you to today's webinar. Um, now we're going to take just a couple of minutes to ask about what kind of recruiting efforts um, you've been involved in and what are some of the reasons why uh, your new members join FBLA PBO. So if you can a quick second to let us know why new members, why you think your new members like to join FBLA PBL. Okay, thank you. Well, it looks like travel got 32%, competition 50%, conferences 47%, networking 79%, and community service 35%. So that's awesome to know. Thank you. And then finally, our last poll is um, what time of year do you um, does your chapter do most of your recruiting?
Okay, looks like 46% of you do most of your recruiting uh, during the first semester. 49% all year long, that's great to hear. And 6% uh, of you do some recruiting um, during your second semester. So I'm glad that um, we're having this webinar for you today so we can share with you some tips and tricks on how to um, recruit more during the second semester. Okay, so now with that, we will uh, turn over the webinar to our membership director, Lisa Smothers. Thank you, Marisa. The new year is a perfect time to set goals, not only personally, but for your chapter as well. One of those goals should be to recruit new members this semester. Some of you might be thinking, but isn't it too late to recruit? We did that in the fall. It's never too late to recruit. Recruitment is an ongoing process and requires the dedication of national officers, local chapter officers, and even individual members. Chapters that are successful in increasing membership numbers have found that the key to growth is a well-planned and aggressive recruitment strategy. Set a goal for your chapter. How many members would you like to gain? It's always good to overshoot your goals and set high expectations. Next, make a game plan. Create a list of steps you will take in order to recruit your new members. What kind of people are you looking to attract? How will you advertise? What will you say once you do have their attention? Now here's Jake to explain how to promote the benefits of FBLA PBL. While we're waiting for Jake, I'll go ahead and start the benefits. Before your officers and chapter members can recruit new members, they must be proud of FBLA PBL. Ask them, why did you join? Or if they are an officer, why did you decide to run for office? Tell them to have a prepared elevator speech, no more than 30 seconds to a minute long, to give to anyone who asks about FBLA or PBL. The mission is also an excellent place to start. Our mission is to bring business and education together in a positive working relationship through innovative leadership and career development programs. As part of national officer training, our national officers work on coming up with an elevator speech. Um, Jake, are you available to give yours at this time? Okay, Taylor, would you mind giving, letting the people know what the, um, giving them an example of your elevator speech? Yeah, not a problem. Um, so for me, when somebody asks me what FBLA is, I tell them that we're the organization that brings business and education together in a positive working relationship. Um, and FBLA has impacted my life in more ways that I can count with travel and all sorts of leadership opportunities that really have made me a better student um, and a better contributing citizen to society. Great. Thanks so much, Taylor. Guess we'll move on to the next next slide. Um, what we want to talk about right now is a little bit of networking tips. So coach your officers and members on how to talk to prospective members. They should be curious, be brief, be courteous, be direct, and most importantly, be enthusiastic. Next, Taylor will talk about some things you can do to promote your recruitment events. Yes, thank you, Lisa. Active long-term members are vital to your chapter's success. They are your source of leadership, serve as important role models for new members, and carry the torch into the next year. Get them involved in your recruitment activities this year. Have them distribute brochures and information packets about your chapter activities to potential members who visit your meetings. Tabling is among the most effective recruitment strategies. Members can take shifts at an informational table in high traffic areas, such as different sporting events, in the student union or cafeteria, or at an activities fair. An effective table or booth is colorful, interactive, and informative. Try having candy at the table, showing a membership video, or displaying a chapter scrapbook. Our members have grown up with technology, so use it to your advantage and publicize your recruitment events where students spend their time on social media. 
use social media to get your recruitment message out to potential members and encourage your existing members to like, share, and retweet your posts. It helps to amplify your message. Connect with prospective members on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. That way you'll have multiple ways to let them know about upcoming events and activities. And of course, don't forget to post pictures. If you've not done so already with your current members, record their cell phone numbers, email addresses, and social media profiles. Don't forget to connect with the National Center on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash future business leaders and on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash FBLA underscore national. Okay, if Jake is on the line with us, Jake, why don't you take this next slide on recruitment membership recognition programs. Okay, it seems like we're still experiencing some uh, technical difficulties. Jake, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me now? Great. Can you Welcome, hear me? Jake. Yes. <laughs> we're on a recruitment membership recognition program. Yes, so FBLA PBO offers several incentives to local chapters and members to help build membership. Members recruiting either five or ten new members are rewarded with the certificate, the membership madness and membership mania programs. Chapters are recognized with certificates of recognition for maintaining or increasing their membership totals from the previous year or signing up all students in one class for FBLA PBL. Please note, you may only receive 100% class participation for one class each year. Please take advantage of these programs. You will build your membership numbers as well as receive national recognition. April 1st is the deadline for these awards. Many state and local chapters are adding a blog to their chapter website. Blogs are a great place to post recruitment videos and important timely updates to your chapter membership, including the dates and times of meetings and special events. Once there, you can link the information to your Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn accounts and send it to some friends to pass on to their friends. Recruitment at its best. Two of the biggest benefits that FBLA PBL members receive from joining our organization are leadership skills and travel. Make plans now to attend this year's NLC, which will be held in San Antonio, Texas, where members and advisors will, not, will network with business leaders, gain new leadership skills, and travel to the seventh largest city in the United States. The PBL NLC will be held from June 24th to June 27th, and the FBLA NLC will be held from June 29th to July 2nd. Start making your plans to attend now. And remember, in order to be eligible to compete at the National Leadership Conference in San Antonio this summer, FBLA national dues must be paid by March 1st and PBL national dues must be paid by April 15th. We've just covered strategies for recruitment and we're going to move on to retention now. However, keep in mind that when it comes to membership, retention is just really another word for recruitment. Always invite prospective members to attend your day-to-day -day events, such as chapter meetings and community service activities. Let's talk about promoting your meetings. Great flyer or poster locations for advertising chapter meetings include libraries, departmental bulletin boards, and progressive hangouts. Char general meeting announcements in high traffic areas around campus, and as Taylor just mentioned, Use your social media networks to get the word out. Make the most of your meetings by keeping your members interested and engaged at the meetings that they do attend. Invite guest speakers, plan interactive activities, present awards, recognize members for achievements, or have your meetings hosted by other groups and organizations. And of course, don't forget to invite their members to join. Don't just hold a meeting for a meeting's sake. Set out to make the best use of each member's time. FBLA PBL offers a program called the Business Achievement Awards, BAA, for FBLA, the Middle Level Achievement Awards, MAP, MAP, for FBLA Middle Level, and the Career and Membership Achievement Awards, CMAP, for PBL. These unique recognition programs are designed to grow and retain local chapter membership through activities and projects with special emphasis on career development and preparation for the business world. Encourage all of your members to take part in these programs. Remember, 
For the BAA and CMAP programs, advisors must register students in the advisor area of the website before students can log on. These two programs are offered online and all forms are interactive with no paperwork. If you need help registering your students for the BAA and CMAP, contact Ms. Smothers at membershipdir at fbla.org. The entry forms for the MAP program are located in the Chapter Management Handbook. March 1st is the deadline for all three programs with the exception of the America level of the Business Achievement Award program. The deadline for this level is April 25th. Our curriculum related programs provide members with unique opportunities to apply the skills and knowledge that they are learning in the classroom. Let's focus on two programs that your local chapters can take advantage of. America Saves is a program of the Consumer Federation of America, CFA, centered around America Saves Week, which is February 19th through the 26th, and is a national effort aimed at teaching and motivating students to save money. CFA provides training to advisors and students, materials, resources, and many events that are sponsored by business partners and include cash awards. iSafe, a nonprofit foundation and worldwide leader in educate, internet education, offers online training for members to get involved in service learning activities ranging from conducting student assemblies to speaking to parent groups. Information on these programs and all of our partners can be found in the chapter management handbook or online under membership benefits. During FBLA PBL week, February 5th through the 11th, our chapters throughout the country are celebrating by publicizing their activities that include everything from FBLA PBL T-shirt day to Faculty Appreciation Day. Remember, celebrating this week can serve as a springboard to celebrating the entire month of February for Career and Technical Education, or CTE Month. How can you get ready? Continue to plan different activities throughout the month. It could be sponsoring a guest speaker at a meeting, hosting a chapter etiquette dinner, job shadowing, sponsoring a business fair, or manning an informational booth to get the word out to prospective members. Other events specifically for FBLA PBL Week could include Dress to Win Wednesday on February 8th, where all members are encouraged to wear professional attire, take a group photo, and post it to our national Facebook page. And don't forget, it's never too late to recruit. Use this week of fun activities to invite students to participate. Host a pizza party, movie night, field trip, or any other fun activity to attract more members. Keeping your members interested and involved is the key to retention. Get noticed. Make sure your school, local media, business, policymakers, and the community know all about CTE Month. Invite community leaders or state officers to attend your chapter meetings and communicate with public officials by writing and visiting them. This is a great opportunity to take pictures and write news stories. Plan a group outing during FBLA PBL week, such as attending a professional sports game, and then take a group photo for the newspaper. And why not make your outing a recruitment event? Don't forget to invite those prospective members to all of your outings and activities. And take it a step further and make sure your chapter is in the news throughout the year. Media looks for news that is timely, includes high resolution photos, and is of interest to the community. Student award winners, group events, unique fundraisers, and projects are all great things that your chapter reporter can focus on when preparing news releases for the community, school newspaper, or website. Oftentimes, journalists look for a hook for a story, so instruct your officers that when writing news releases, use words like local, first ever, best, or largest. Saturday, February 11th is National FBLA PBL Community Service Day. If you've not planned something, there's still time. You could even plan a project for later in the month or promote it to your members now. Service activities help your chapter get involved and contribute directly to the community. Members recognize the importance of being responsible citizens and form networks with business and community leaders. Service learning helps your members learn about real world issues, concerns, and needs, matches members' strengths with community needs, provides practical experience in planning and organizing, develops leadership skills, builds recognition and goodwill for the chapter, and teaches satisfaction of a job well done. Activities can include working with the March of Dimes, volunteering at a homeless shelter, conducting a bud drive, developing community improvement projects, or developing a project with any other service organization. 
This year, your professional division national officer team is sponsoring a new activity, Professional Division Engagement Day. During this day, chapters are encouraged to plan activities that involve local business leaders. For example, invite PD members and other business and community leaders to speak at a local chapter meeting to share his or her expertise or to talk about some aspect of business. And finally, remember that your national officers are just a Skype or phone call away. This fall semester, Jake has Skyped into several local and state chapter meetings, and Taylor has been busy fielding phone calls and text messages from our new officer hotline. The numbers to call are listed on the screen, and if you would like to arrange a Skype call with either Jake or Taylor, just fill out the request form at go.fbla.org slash FBLA Skype request. Okay, we had a couple of questions submitted during the presentation, and we'll start getting to those now. Again, if you have a question, just type it into the um, toolbar on the top right of your screen. If we run out of time, we'll email you individually to answer any question that we're not able to get to. Okay, Lisa, it looks like the first question is for you. It comes from Sarah in Chicago. Um, Sarah wants to know, um, where on the website can they go to register new members? Now that's a, certainly an important question and one we love to hear. It's very easy. You just go to the website and on the home page on the left side tab, you'll see a tab that says membership. You click on membership, click on reg register now, and up will come a screen with your login and password. So you just type that in and it takes you right through the membership form step by step. Very easy. And so you can actually enter members at any time, new members. You just click on the plus key once you get in there. Thank you. Um, Monica in Florida says that she uh, did not receive um, her issues of the magazine, Tomorrow's Business Leader, yet. Um, Lisa, do you want to explain to Monica why she may not have received them? Sure, Monica. Um, one of the first things I would do is I would go and ask your advisor if your dues have been submitted yet or if you paid yet because really you don't receive any benefits until you're a paid member of FBLA or PBL. So that's really important because that includes all of your magazines like your Tomorrow's Business Leader or the professional PBL Business Leader, uh, membership cards, any of those things. So it's very, very important for that and especially as we're getting into competition time, it's even more important because for state and national conferences you need to have your membership do paid in order to compete. Great. Okay, uh, Karen in Utah would actually like to hear from Jake and Taylor um, individually on what kind of recruiting uh, examples can you share with them that you've done in, in your chapter or anything perhaps that um, you've heard about so far as uh, this year as uh, national officers. Taylor, do you want to start? Yeah, definitely. I think one of the major things that you've got to do first out, uh, out of the gate is really find a theme and run with it. I know that a lot of local chapters, um, I know it's something my own chapter does, but we always find a theme for recruitment, um, a message that really resonates with members. A couple of years ago, it was be a smarty, join FBLA, and we handed out small little smarty candies, and it went along with the, the whole entire week of, of recruiting where we spoke to the entire student body, did intercom announcements about FBLA um, and all those kind of things, but it all comes back to the, the real simple thing of establishing a theme. And I know if you look in tomorrow's business leader uh, in the chapter news section, you'll read about um, a chapter that did the business bayou. And I think that's something that's a theme that, that they ran with and was really effective. Yeah, I believe that was Frank, uh, Franklin Parish High School in Louisiana. They did a great job with that. Um, yes, definitely. Yeah, and Jake, do you want to share any recruiting tips? Yeah, definitely. Um, so at my university, it's a little different because we, we are so large. We have over 40,000 students on campus, and there's a lot of student organizations that people could be joining. Um, the first thing that we try to do every year that's been really successful for us is um, we'll actually through the university of emails that we can send to the students. Um, that way we can get all the students encompassed and send them an email about when our um, kickoff meeting is going to be. And then we'll kind of um, chalk around campus um, just in really popular areas by the business school, um, in just common places that people would go to eat or meet people just about when our, our meeting will be. And then we'll set up a table at our um, both our just general student org fair and then our business org fair. 
where we'll showcase um, some of our awards, our promotional videos, and we'll get a lot of names from people. Um, and then we'll actually hold our kickoff and we'll offer free pizza for everyone that, that attends. Um, and there we'll answer any questions and just give a brief overview of the organization. And um, we do that same thing first and second semester to, to make sure that we have all the members that we, that we could possibly get for the year. I think uh, writing your message on chalk on the sidewalk is such a clever idea. Do you think a lot of schools yeah. are doing that, Jake? I think so, yeah. Especially on larger campuses, it works really well. Um, it, gets, it gets people's attention easily without being too invasive because they can just kind of see it on their own free will as they're walking to and from classes. Yeah, and it's very economical. You don't have to buy any posters, right? <laughs> exactly. Okay, um, let's go on. We had a couple of questions come in. Uh, David wants to know when PBL week again. Uh, when is PBL week? Um, I think you're referring to FBLA PBL week, and uh, David, that is February 5th through the 11th of this year. Correct. Okay, um, Ed uh, is asking if the presentation will be available for downloading, and yes, um, we will upload it to our website and uh, on YouTube, and that should be up um, this time tomorrow. And, uh, oh, some other people are interested in uh, obtaining a copy of the slideshow. Yeah, um, if you'd like a, a slideshow, just uh, Christopher, uh, email me and uh, I will respond uh, later this af afternoon. Um, but the webinar actually might be more helpful because you'll be hearing a lot of the questions and so forth that obviously you won't get with just the PowerPoint. Okay, uh, Lisa, um, Fiona Shivers would like to know what is the email address for a CMAP registration? It really is not an email address. The way that the CMAP registration works is that your advisor registers you in the advisor area. Once they do that, you're going to get a login and a password. Um, when you go back to the website, there's a main area with a little CMAP tab, and you're going to type in your login and password. Now, at any time, if you forget your password, once you get it, your advisor can always go in and check it. And certainly, if you have any more questions about CMAP, don't be afraid to email me at membershipdir at fbla.org. And just to, to chime in on that, uh, I know in PBL we have um, sometimes have some issues just with, with getting people registered for CMAP. Um, so if you're not, if you have, if, like Lisa said, if you've lost your, your login or if you're not sure of it or your advisor isn't sure of it, just contact Lisa or myself and we can, we can get that information for you to make sure everyone gets registered. Great. Okay, we have a new advisor on the line with us. Her name is Dana Bassett, and her challenge has been finding activities for the chapter to participate in so that they can stay noticed, and she uh, needs connections with what she can do to get her chapter active. Lisa, you want to handle that one? Sure. Uh, that's a really good question, too, and, and I used to be an FBLA advisor. I've actually been involved in all divisions of the association, and you know, some of the great things to do it is maybe even have something as simple as an open house and invite, like, the faculty members and the parents, and you can kind of talk a little bit, have your officers talk about FBLA, PBL. I always used to do something called a wall of fame where my kids applied for it, and then I had a running scrapbook from year to year. One of our big community service partners is the March of Dimes, and it's certainly very easy to get a lot of recognition for that. If you go to our website or the March of Dimes website, you'll even find out, you can type in your location and it'll give you your nearest March of Dimes location. One of the things they have coming up in the spring is something called a March for Babies, where you can get involved and you can walk to um, raise money for the March of Dimes. Uh, but they also have a lot of different things that you can do. Um, some of the more successful chapters as well, they actually integrate some things into the curriculum, which makes it a lot easier for you because you know, there's only so many hours in the day, and um, kids are in so many different activities. One of the great things that we have is the Business Achievement Awards, where students do different activities. And if you actually go through that, it takes you through some of our national programs, and it kind of teaches you how to do exactly what you're asking to get that recognition and to get your name out there and to get the kids involved. If you have other questions, don't be afraid to contact me. I, ha I have a lot of ideas, and I can always have the contacts that maybe can help you as well, and we can always maybe find somebody to mentor you. Great, or maybe Dana can reach out to who to her uh, state advisor, and they can connect her with 
uh, someone in her in her local area, another um, chapter advisor. Great. Okay. Um, Janet Cook is wondering if she should have received her membership cards this year. Lisa. Yeah, it depends. It it depends on when you paid. I mean, we run membership cards on a daily basis, so if you paid for your members, you should have gotten your cards. So if you did that and haven't gotten them, make sure you contact me and we'll reset the cards and resend them out to you because, yes, you should have gotten them if you paid. It is a membership benefit. Okay. A couple of um, other people have been asking for copies of this PowerPoint and uh, webinar. The webinar will be uploaded to our YouTube channel. Um, and here is a link to that YouTube channel. Or you can uh, email me individually. It's communications at fbla.org. Okay, we have a PBL question uh, for you, Jake. Um, looks like um, this chapter has uh, a PBL chapter, of course, and then kind of a competing uh, chapter um, called the Bucknell Business Leaders, BBL. And they're uh, more popular on campus, but their agenda is very similar to PBL. They offer community service opportunities, speakers, and they even sell a Bucknell product on campus. Um, do you have any ideas on how they can distinguish themselves from yeah, more, BBL? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, uh, there's there's kind of two different ways to, to take that. A lot of a lot of PBL chapters are actually like partnered with different organizations on campus. So you'll see. Um, I know, um, for example. Midland Lutheran University in Nebraska does like a PBL SIFE chapter, so they'll work together with SIFE, with SIFE um, to kind of share their members, and then members kind of they they are, they are registered through both both organizations. So that's an idea, but um, a very similar case was just dealt with in Tennessee this year. Um, we had there was a a chapter just started there, um, and they actually had just a general business organization, which sounds kind of like what you've got at your university. And um, how they dealt with that was just they kind of made a presentation on PBL to that chapter, um, and they ended up changing just the ben general business name to Phi Beta Lambda. So all of those members just then became Phi Beta Lambda members, which is another idea. Um, but I, it, it could step on people's toes if you suggest just kind of switching to PBL. So I would suggest um, seeing if you can go in and do a presentation on PBL and what exactly they do, um, and then see if you can maybe share members or if you can, can work together as a joint organization. Thanks, Jake. OK, um, looks like Summer Nahara um, had a question regarding um, uh, FBLA scholarships and if there are any uh, available. Lisa? Great question. And students are always looking to, for ways to help them pay for school. One of the scholarships that FBLA and PB have that their own is we have the Distinguished Business Leader Scholarship. And so um, if you're involved in FBLA PBL and you have done at least one level of the BAA or the CMAP program, you're eligible to apply for that. So that is located on our website under um, the division. So you go to your division, FBLA or PBL, and you go to membership and then go to benefits and you'll see scholarships. There's other scholarships listed as well. We have a lot of different scholarships with different universities. Um, for example, Johnson & Wales in a partnership with us, they offer a full ride tuition, at least one every year. So Go ahead and take a look at that. You can also, teachers also have a chapter management handbook. So whether you're a teacher or a student, the student can ask the teacher, you know, the same question, what scholarships are available. Because there are scholarships out there. Thanks, Lisa. Okay, um, looks like that's all the time we have uh, for today. Um, again, this uh, webinar will be uploaded to YouTube as well as the PowerPoint um, on SlideShare. So you can find us on slideshare.net slash FBLA dash PBL. And um, before we forget, I just want to remind you of next month's webinar, which is titled Going for the Win, Preparing for Competition. Barbara Small, our Director of Education, will present tips for preparing for the many different types of competitive events that we offer in FBLA PBL written reports, interactive performance events, objective tests, 
and speaking events. Her special guest will be Ms. Carla Bolton from the Missouri Department of Education. And Ms. Bolton currently serves on our NAP committee and is a formal local chapter advisor, so she'll have lots of insight from the classroom to share with you. And also, don't forget, you can find all of our past webinars archived on our YouTube channel, as well as on the National Website Media Gallery. And they're a great resource to include in your next chapter meeting. That's all for today. Lisa, Jake, and Taylor, I'd like to thank each of you for your participation. And thank you all for attending, and have a great week.